You guys know I got up out of my chair to do that intro? The effort, the effort, flawless. Okay, hello brothers. You guys are getting so impatient on my fucking Twitch chat that you guys wanted it. Oh, when Q&A, when Q&A, and when are you gonna upload Q&A? So I'm doing it now. I'm doing it right now. No more complaining, dude. I am going to do it right now as we speak. Pog. <coughs> okay. Um, this was supposed to be done at 6k, but we're gonna do it at 5.5 because fuck it, why not? We're gonna start with the questions on the cord and then we're gonna go ahead and answer the questions on the bird. So let's get started. No more hesitation. All right, first things first. What was your childhood like and what did you have a passion for growing up? Keep up the great work. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. My childhood was pretty basic. There was nothing like really going on, nothing really special. I didn't go through like the struggle or anything which I'm kind of blessed about. I didn't really have to work hard for anything. I was kind of a privileged kid and kind of a spoiled, like a spoiled kid. Other than that, um, I had a lot of friends, right? I would always be playing outside, playing with a bunch of friends. I was very social. Uh, when I was growing up, what I always had a passion for was honestly gaming. Like I got my first Game Boy and when I was like, five or something, like some, some like young age, I would always be super competitive. Uh, whether it was like with friends, with IRL shit, or like gaming, like on the GameCube and shit. Like, there's this Godzilla game. I would get so pissed when my sister would beat me. Oh, I would get so mad. That game was fire though. But yeah, I was at a passion for gaming. I was always really competitive in gaming. I honestly never knew that it was gonna be a job, pretty much. Or I was trying to be a job. We're still growing, which I'm very thankful for. But yeah. Um, did you think your streaming career would suddenly start popping off? Also, when did you realize that this is what you wanted to do? Um, no, I never thought my I never thought my streaming career would suddenly start popping off. The only reason, how should I say this? So in high school, I used to back in like the forty the Fortnite days, dude, the forty days. I used to I start I tried streaming because I would used to watch TSM Daquan. Shout out Daquan, dude. I, I'm waiting for that boy's return. The Return of the King. I would watch Daquan. I'd be, I thought it was the coolest shit ever. I thought it was so funny. And how like it was really cool that he was like kind of starting. He Like so many people would talk like him. So many people would act like him. So many people would play like him. I thought that was the coolest shit ever. He was kind of being himself and creating an own his own culture and his own community around it. But I thought that was so sick. So I, I tried streaming back in high school. But I kind of gave up after like a month because I just wasn't getting anywhere. A couple years later, I picked up on watching ASU, Energy ASU, uh, around like when Apex was big. I thought he was the coolest, like, like I still like he's my favorite streamer like of all time, right? I I thought he was the coolest guy, like just the way he acted, the way like his community was, the way he built his community. I thought it was really inspiring. That kind of inspired me to want to stream even more. When I realized that this is what I wanted to do, is because. I don't know if you guys know, but Hyperat TV is another Tarkov streamer. He's a super cool friend, super good friend. I know him like IRL and everything. You guys should go follow him at twitch.tv slash Hyperat. When I realized, what I, um, he kind of helped me realize that this is what I wanted to do because the first time he came over here to the island, uh, Hawaii, I took him out to go eat and I, we were just talking about streaming and stuff. And he's like, yo, dude, like he, he kind of like saw potential in me. And he told me like, you should just like constantly be streaming. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm down. And then my, like, I started streaming every single day, back to back to back, just like eight plus hours. And my numbers, like out of nowhere, just started flying up. I was making connections. My numbers went from like 2K to like 3K, 4K. And now we're at like 5K followers and we're still growing at a crazy rate. And then uh, we hit partner. And so once my, once my, I would say once my numbers started growing like a lot, that's probably where I, I, w I knew that like I wanted to stream for a job because it, I was just having so much fun. Okay, next up, next up, gaming background. Uh, gaming background. What games I used to play? I wasn't a Halo kid. A lot of a lot of like professional like big streamers that are like good at FPS games are Halo boys. I was a Black Ops two kid. I like I loved that game so much. I had like the fucking clan tag and everything. Like I would have phase in my clan tag. I would watch Apex Rain adapt all of them and they're like quick scoping videos i thought that shit was so sick i uh, went from black ops 2 and like i i would say the first game i kind of got kind of like competitive in uh went from black ops 2 to csgo 
CSGO to Fortnite, and then Fortnite got super boring around like season three. I uh, went from Fortnite to <clears throat> to Apex. That's where I really started getting like competitive. I got into the competitive scene, made a lot of like longtime friends there. Shout out Fade, shout out Caselos, uh, fucking Kanaka, all the homies. Busby too. Shout out Busby. I thought I would miss you, bitch. After I finished Apex, because you know, scene got kind of dry. Went over to Valorant. After Valorant, Tarkov, and Tarkov kind of took me to the place where I am right now, and that's pretty much everything. Why am I? Hey, yo, my bad, bro. Who's your favorite chatter? Nightbot by a mile. Pepsi or Coke? This is an actual crucial question. Pepsi tastes like low sugar Coke, and I don't, I don't, I don't know why, but Pepsi just tastes like worse Coke. It just tastes like less, like f less flavor Coke. So Coke on top. I'm a Coke boy. Coke is banging, dude. If streaming didn't pick up, uh, what would you be doing now? Also, new music one. I haven't made music in like a year, dude. I used to make so much EDM, but I kind of just quit. But if streaming didn't pick up, what would you be doing now? Probably be working like a part-time or a full-time job. Um, probably be working to get off this island because I just, I hate it here. Ping's bad. <laughs> Everyone's boring. I just, I just don't like it here. Do you like milk duds? I absolutely despise milk duds. I think they are the worst candy on this fucking planet and anywhere, but anybody who eats them should be crucified. What's in the hentai folder? Hentai, bro. I leaked it on stream. Can you tell us another story? Yeah, so uh, one day, what game made you get... Sorry, what game made you get into being into... What game... What game made you get into being competitive in gaming? Um, Like I said before, Actually, I, I didn't really go into it. It was probably Apex, just because I I saw myself as pretty decent in the game, and a lot of people actually like looked up, like, oh, that sounds really egotistical. Other people thought I was a good player, and they saw potential in me, and they saw that like, I I could, I was good enough to compete, so I got really competitive in uh, Apex, probably. Blah, 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 blah. How many times do you fart every day? I got a couple jars that I'm uh, about to sell in my my merch website thoughts on felix argyle what the fuck's this who is felix Ar what felix argyle oh 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 hold the phone oh how do i find a reason to keep going Oh, sad, brother. Um, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. Um, a lot of people don't really know about my personal life because I'm always just like the the happy tree, like shit posting streamer. But I did go through like a deep phase of depression. I had to call a lot of my I had to call out to a lot of my friends because I was just you know really down there. Uh, I thought a lot of times about you know suicide, which is doubt like really bad, but um just know you may not think it i didn't think it i really didn't think there was but there's crazy amount of people who are out there who care for you right um don't ever like have a doubt in your mind that there's someone out there that doesn't care for you i care for you you're part of my community i, I like i care for you a lot i appreciate you brother you without you i wouldn't be going anywhere and you may just be one out of the thousands of people but just know that like each and every single one of you are my homies right and if i lost one of you i wouldn't know what to do so just keep that in mind brother i love you will you ever purchase vr and stream virtual reality games such as beat saber i cannot play vr i can't play vr i tried playing vr i got motion sickness i almost fucking threw up dude it wasn't fun i i, I like if i tried and play v, 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 if i tried playing vr um i would lose my shit i can't i can't do it so no i'm sorry how much do you like anime boobas oh dude too much what does your roommate think of you and your career uh what about your dad too you mentioned that my roommate shout out my roommate twitch.tv slash sin xd i will put that shit right here you know what i'm saying he's super cool he's the one who took me in because my dad actually, which is like a perfectly way. My dad is a piece of shit. Um, I hate my dad. 
he's the reason i left my house he's the reason my mom is supporting me to move away out of this island um he's very verbally abusive um i would say he he's my main reason to keep grinding uh to keep growing to just sh prove him that he was wrong about me and uh that i can make it uh and what i want to do he was also physically abusive sometimes but we don't i don't really want to go into that other than that my roommate is the coolest guy ever he's very supportive uh from the sidelines about my streaming career and i fuck with him i love that boy shout out trey i love you bro what's something you find difficult about streaming like skip schedule or inability to do something slash play something and who's your favorite duo um uh, yeah difficult to be about streaming is i obviously i get numbers playing tarkov that's kind of the game that you know like took me off the game's bad <laughs> everybody knows the game is so bad the game is awful there's too many issues that they don't point out and they kind of just ignore so i don't know i think the hardest part is to stream the game right which is why i'm gonna be doing variety and that you know you, you know you should you should come to my little channel you know we're gonna play playing some different games besides tarkov you know what i'm saying L L self plug and uh who's my favorite duo i don't have a favorite duo i love playing with everybody everybody's homie um i do have people that I play with more more than like other people just because you know i'm closer to them uh shout out smitty hyper spoop you know the boys the boys and stinky wag fucking idiot dude i'm moving in with that boy you guys should expect some new content a little little, little taste a little sneaker peeker what kind of uh favorite kind of ramen and from what place um i would say probably tonkatsu ramen spicy tonkatsu ramen if i could lucky belly in hawaii it's fucking mm, super good ramen place super good ramen place if you've ever come to hawaii and you want ramen lucky belly trust me what is your favorite ice cream flavor chocolate chip cookie dough Un undefeated undefeated flavor busting disrespectfully my favorite flower probably a hibiscus just because it's n is it native to hoi i don't know maybe it is maybe it isn't it's just a really pretty flower um it's really big i always used to pick it and like put it on my ear pretend i was a pretend i was a hula dancer you know what i'm saying how do you like living in hawaii um as a streamer as a gamer i don't like it here <laughs> To be honest, um, I was kind. I'm not really the person who I used to be in high school. I I would say I'm more myself than I was back then in like high school and shit. It's too hot. I don't like the people here. Everybody acts the same. Everybody talks the same. Dresses the same. There's a lot of diversity. So that is why I'm moving with Stinky to Michigan. So, yeah. First anime, Bunny Girl Senpai. Still out of all, like watch Bunny Girl Senpai. I watched. A bunch of animes after that but money girl stuff is still my number one anime it's it's such a good it's so good if you haven't watched it go watch it what the dog doing oh motherfucker where's the dog how much for you to fuck me in the ass 20 gifted right now it's kaya virgin of course until i fuck him in the ass what is my favorite soda mm, i like coke more than pepsi but i don't know that 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 fanta strawberry be hitting my throat in ways that other things cannot and that's pretty much all the questions that i can answer on the course so let's go ahead and hop on the bird and see what's going on on here all right what's going on on the bird when are you quitting tarkov and becoming my favorite hot tub streamer ricky you already know dude why do you son come on so why why you why you need me to be a hot tub streamer when i give you them personal skype shows next step in your career now that you're partnered um well this is a banger question I don't want to dig a hole for myself and get stuck in a game that I don't enjoy playing, aka Tarkov, right? I don't really have fun playing the game anymore, I don't really have fun streaming it unless I'm playing with somebody. Um, I'm trying to do variety, like I said, like, step away uh, from the game, stream more stuff, see how many people will follow, uh, come with me, just stick with me for what, like, watching me for me rather than watching me for strictly Tarkov, but other than that yeah just stepping away seeing how it goes doing variety kika down to win Yo.
When is the movement tutorial? Is that actually something you guys want? Is that something you guys want? Do you guys want a Tarkov movement tutorial? I feel like that'd be the stupidest shit ever, but I mean, if you guys want it, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I will think about it. What is my favorite Filipino dish? Oh, my grandma makes the most banging pancit bihon you'll ever taste in your life, dude. I promise you my grandma makes the most banging pancit. Oh, that shit is pog tasty. Which anime sent? I'm get I'm get I'm gonna guess because you asked this before. Which anime waifu? Um, it's Nino Nino or my Nino or my that is they they could ruin my life disrespectfully. How do you get through tough times from Tarkov to real life? Let's see the IRL off stream Kitsumai what he's like. How do I get through tough times? Hmm. I reach out to friends, uh, which sadly a lot of people don't have access to because of COVID or just being antisocial. But friends are really important in just, you know, getting through hard times, reaching out to them. Or like, if it's not that serious, right? And like, I just get pissed off at a game. I would like hit a piper or something. Tell him like, I want to go get dinner or lunch or whatever. And he'd be down. Yeah, I'd just either go or go out by myself, go get boba or something, take a little walk outside. What like, maybe watch the sunset or some shit. <laughs> but yeah, reason I got into Tarkov. Um, I think it's because I quit Valorant and I was kind of left gameless. And I played Tarkov for like maybe a month uh before i like started playing valorant a lot i don't know i kind of since i was gameless i kind of just started playing tarkov and it was really fun so i just started playing it more and more and more and streaming and streaming it and i ended up getting really into it um but if you're talking about before like the main reason i got into tarkov was because nick uh a friend of mine shout out elenium uh i don't know if he released a new song but he fucking probably did he probably released a new song i don't know uh, you should go listen to it. But he's the very one who got me to download the game. He was like, dude, this game is so much fun. You should you should download it and play it. I'm like that. So I downloaded it, got it, played it, thought it was super fun. I, I didn't think it was fun at first and then I, was, I thought it was super fun after, which is why I got into it. But yeah, top five games of all time. Oh, a absolute banger of a question, brother. Hmm. Top five games of all time. Dude, that's a hard question. I gotta say, number one, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Pokemon. It's gotta be Pokemon. Pokemon is one of my favorite games of all time, dude. I fucking, I will play every single game that comes out, no matter how like bad the slander is. I will play every Pokemon game that comes out. Second, um, I would say either they they share the slot. Minecraft slash Terraria. There's just infinite amount of things to do. Terraria, I've been playing on stream recently. It's so much fun. So much fun. God, I played for like 20 hours straight, dude. And third, I would say just story-wise, is a game I played recently. It's called Little Nightmares. If you haven't played it, it's so worth the playthrough, dude. It's like it's like a puzzle-based, like, creepy horror game. Kinda, but it's not that scary. It's really good, though. It's, like, super good. Like, the lore is fucking, like, insane. And fourth... Probably Super Paper Mario on the fucking Wii, bro. That's another one. The story was so good, dude. Oh my god. I played it. I played it like after I like because I played it once when I was super like young. And then I played it again like a year ago. Holy shit, dude. The story is so dude. The story is like you you would think like a Mario game wouldn't have a good story, but holy fuck, that story, that story of the game is so good. It gave me like it gives me like chills, dude. It's so good. And in fifth probably osu yeah probably osu um osu is just a game that i can like if i get off any single game i can just play it to relax kill time i can play osu for like three hours and not even notice it it's a really like i don't know i just love playing osu so yeah those are my top five it goes pokemon minecraft slash terraria little nightmares uh super paper mario on the wii and osu all right, and I think that is everything. I skipped a lot of questions just because they were kind of just my chat being my chat. But other than that, I think that is everything. Yeah. Yeah. So there you guys go. You guys have been asking me 
fucking constantly to finally upload it so it's finally up but um yeah there was some banging questions there hopefully this video helped you guys learn a little more about me and who i am as a person uh who i was before twitch and who i plan to be so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for all the crazy growth on my twitch um hopefully this is only the beginning and hopefully we can keep growing but yeah i love you guys and uh subscribe to me on twitch